uh, say row sets yesterday given differences between result set and row set how many differences are there four differences uh, what is the first difference result set is non serializable object row set is all row sets are serializable objects uh, yesterday that concept completed uh, second one what is uh, second difference result set is connected object jdbc row set is connected object remaining row sets are disconnected objects uh, first uh, what is connected what is disconnected we'll see no doubt connected object connected object uh, it means the object always being connected to database no doubt it means the object always being connected to database it means the object always being connected to database on uh, next disconnected object it means connection is closed after getting an object uh, see connected object it means the object always being connected to database disconnected object it means connection is closed after getting an object see uh you have seen result set program result set diagram also you have seen this one uh, now result set is connected or disconnected connected this object always being connected to database this object always being connected to database so what will happen is suppose whenever result set is generated then result set pointer points to first record before first record you will move the cursor here you will display this one you will display this one you will display this one again you will move the cursor here you will display this one you will display this one suppose in between connection closed then remaining data you will not get because it is always retrieved from database only okay this object always being connected to database in between connection is closed remaining data you will not get okay support disconnected means total data dumped into java site total data dumped into your local system uh, even if it clo that connection automatically closed it will doesn't maintain the connection but what's the difference is connection always maintained means java application database different locations will be there continuously network traffic it will maintain connection closed means your data dumped into your local system then your object data it will be in ram only you can retrieve from ram that type uh, now best example to understand online offline tutorials will be there online offline suppose uh, example java documentation uh, suppose java documentation if you open java api documentation if you open uh, now this documentation i'll open now 
here here if i click first module java.base next page appears now uh, in that if i click java.lang next page appears again if i click one class uh, iterable if i click next page appears suppose internet connection is closed uh, will you get a next page no this api documentation connected to database from database it is coming it is coming coming from database suppose this total tutorial you can this api documentation you can download after downloading also hyperlinks will be there but total data will be in your system only same like a online look online look and feel will be there no as it is will be there look and feel you can click hyperlink you can see the next page you can click next page then internet connection is not required no? once if it is downloaded once if it is downloaded everything in your system in your system also hyperlinks will be there uh, you can click you can see next page so directly you can click it goes to next page if it in your system so it is equivalent to online offline type online offline tutorials that type so uh, if it is connected means always being connected to database it means the object always being connected to database it means connection is closed after getting an object it means connection is closed after getting object total data dumped into your system and connection closed still you will get the data okay uh, suppose total data dumped into your system is memory occupied ram memory required more ram more ram required and uh, if you think about connection network traffic disconnected object uh, connected object better uh, if you think about network traffic disconnected object better better if you think about memory memory connected better better for example now you are watching youtube videos you are watching youtube videos yes youtube also download option is there okay but no one is downloading now but long time back if you want to watch again and again repeatedly that video you are downloading downloading because as a internet was very very costly at that time you download it you watch many many times but now no no one is downloading loading what will the memory will be still thing no no like like that now it is download facility is there but people are not downloading because because always there is this for what is for all of your doing internet connection then why why downloading not required then you need to download your mobile memory okay okay like that connected object means that the object always being connected to database in that what what is the problem it not traffic and it is connected, connected object means this is also problem is there memory memory total, total data, data dumped into your system is more memory required uh, uh, so it depends upon situation, situation. If, you, if you are thinking about about a ram if you want to utilize ram memory you efficiently go, go for connected if you want, if you want to reduce the network, network traffic go, go for disconnected that type okay okay these all, all internals we cannot see result is it is connected gdbc row set connected in the meaning row sets is disconnected if you want connected behavior go for result set or gdbc row set this disconnected behavior go for cache row set web row set filter row set join row set okay that, that's the difference next uh, uh, third difference result set is not a java bean uh, row sets are java beans uh, now next write it java bean Uh, a java bean is a reusable software component a java bean is a reusable software component a java bean is a reusable software component uh, see if any class having some rules some rules are there for java bean uh, that rules are if it is followed that class is called java bean with that reusability comes how i'll explain uh, next write it a java class is said to be java bean if it is follows the following rules 
a java class is said to be java bin if it is follows the following rules a java class is said to be java bin if it is follows the following rules now first one class must be public first one class must be public uh, second one class must implements java.io.serializable interface third one class must be in a package class must contain public default constructor first one class must be public second one class must implements java.io.serializable interface third one class must be in a package fourth one class must contain public default constructor now fifth one all instance variables must be private instance variables are called properties six one each and every property must contain setter and getter methods all setter and getter methods must be public Uh, if any java class if it is follows this seven rules that class is called java bin if any java class if it is follows this seven rules that class is called java bin uh, how reusability comes i'll show you see a java bin is a reusable software components if this seven rules if it is followed if this seven rules if it is followed that class is called java bin okay uh, with this seven rules reusability feature comes how i'll explain uh, is it over see uh, you studied setter getter methods in core java which object oriented principle encapsulation uh, here java bin is fully encapsulated 100% encapsulation concept okay uh, see uh, one java class i'll show you how it will be reusable you observe uh, see 
one java class normal program this is no need to write just understanding purpose uh, see uh, one library frame class is there frame frame f equal to new frame okay uh, here f dot set size uh, 400 pixels width 400 pixels height uh, f dot set visible uh, true with this line one frame object created frame is on class library class it is available in awt package it is outdated package not required for understanding job in it is best example that's what i'm taking uh, now it is java dot awt package and in that one frame class is there frame class object created in this line frame size settled width and height 400 pixels width 400 pixels height after that visible mode true uh, then frame will be displayed uh, you observe uh, you observe here java c demo dot java java demo one frame displayed okay it is one java graphical user interface uh, it is outdated because instead of these all we are using html and browser these all we are using aw applet swings no one is using uh, now it's on frame uh, this frame you observe i given in the program 400 pixels width 400 pixels height set size method is there like that one more get size method will be there set visible get visible set height get height set width get width set color get color set background get background set font foreground get foreground like this all setter getter setter getter methods some hundreds of methods are there in this class in frame class you observe what i given notes here each and every property must contain setter and getter methods all setter and getter methods must be public uh, now this width and height will be variables width and height variables will be there and width and height variables are given private setter getter methods given public directly you cannot access width you cannot access height but through setter method you can access through setter method you can access setter getter method you can access uh, you can set the size but directly set width uh, say directly width height it is not possible it is not possible to set okay because those are private variables why they given private uh, you observe in this uh, example in this uh, year rules also are given you observe all instance variables must be private and each and every property must contain setter getter methods all setter getter method must be public with these rules only reusability comes how i'll explain see this is one frame class i given 400 pixels width 400 pixels height i'm using like this suppose what you will do you will create frame object you will write 500 500 for you 500 500 appears for me 400 400 one more person 600 600 one more person 700 800 one class only for me 400 for you 500 one more person 600 one more person 800 one more person 700 it is possible no? uh, so reusable uh, i'll set background color red now uh, for me red appears for you green one more person blue one more person yellow one more person orange multiple but one class only multiple views according to your requirement you can utilize they given like that that type of class is called java bin that type of class is called java bin reusable software component this program is this frame class is reusable because one class only for me 400 pixels appears for you 500 pixels appears one more person 600 appears one more person 800 appears for me red color appears for you green color appears for other person blue color for another person yellow color orange color different colors but one class only multiple different views this is they given uh, now why they given width and height private uh, suppose you observe now 400 400 means 
400 400 came uh, suppose 800 800 i'll write uh, no i'll run compilation execution you are getting 800 800 okay uh, now now what i'll do is uh, my screen resolution uh, see display settings uh, here my screen resolution is 1920 pixels width 1080 pixels height this is my screen pixels uh, this is all right here 1920 uh, 1920 1080 uh, then what will happen complete free full size file save java c demo dot java java demo full size okay now now what i'll do minus 9 19200 uh, 10800 more than my screen size uh, more than my screen size the return uh, what will get it will you get it 19200 no so it is monitor uh, will you get it like this no if it is like that you cannot close also again you have to move the frame until you get a close button okay uh, so if it is if you write 19200 10800 also you will get a same size full size more than maximum size they given maximum size only logic already written in the setter method logic written okay more than maximum size you are getting maximum size uh, suppose if i write minus 19200 minus 10800 what will get it less than minimum size then minimum size uh, see minimum size see this is a frame okay it is small size displayed uh, like this actually this is displayed like this okay i written negative numbers but it is showing minimum size uh, so what is happening less than minimum size minimum size more than maximum size maximum size okay less than minimum size minimum size coming more than maximum size maximum size coming okay uh, like this we are getting suppose assume if this logic is not there okay logic is not there as well as variables are pri 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 public is there variables public is there you will set 19200 also then it is possible to access means it is not possible to access through setter method only you have to pass width and height you are passing through setter methods in the setter method already logic is there more than maximum size maximum less than minimum size minimum already logic written uh, now can you set 19200 width it is not possible because width is a private variable you cannot access how to access through setter method through setter method if you write what will happen it will not allow logic is there uh, that is encapsulated that is called encapsulation width and height variables bound with set size method and get size method those variables operating on uh, these methods are operating on those variables this type of binding already done that is called encapsulation binding of variables with methods and those methods operating on same variables this type of binding is called encapsulation but if you write one class variables methods will be there that is also called encapsulation it is 100% encapsulation okay uh, now here what will happen width to one variable is there height to one variable is there these two variable they given private you cannot access how to access through set size method you will pass some data to set the width and height but already logic present it will not allow so that's what it is not possible to set 19200 more than maximum size maximum size less than minimum size minimum size that is only possible 
Uh, that's what variable should be private. Variable is public is there, you will change. Uh, now variables are private, you cannot access. How to access? Through setter method. Setter method logic present, already bound. The logic already bound. It is not possible to more, set more than maximum, less than minimum, not possible. It is not possible. Okay. Uh, now, that type of class is called Java Bean. That type of class is called Java Bean. Uh, more than maximum size, maximum size. Less than minimum size, minimum size. Suppose myself, I'll write one class, that type. You observe. Uh, suppose one class, uh, form, form or frame, whatever it may be. Otherwise, that frame only you can write. That is, you don't import that package. That's it. Your class frame. Okay. Uh, now, frame. Integer. Private integer. Width. Okay. Uh, now, you observe. I'll write one job in class. Now, you observe. Uh, now, class must be public. Uh, I'll write public class. Okay. Uh, now, class must be public. Uh, first one. Like first rule, class must be public. Generally, generally what will happen? Uh, this is frame if you write, then frame dot class generated. In other program, if you write frame, this class accessible. AWD frame, it is not accessible. That is the reason generally we should not write. Predefined class name, we should not write for our classes. Otherwise, I'll go for my frame. Okay. Uh, now, class must be public. Uh, public. Uh, second rule, class must implements java.io.serializable interface. Uh, implements uh, serializable. Okay. Uh, now, implement serializable. Uh, here, import java.io.star. Okay. Uh, the class must be in a package. Suppose package demo. Okay. Uh, after that, See, first rule, class must be public. Uh, second rule, implement serializable. Third rule, package. Fourth rule, public default constructor. Is it required to write? Why? It is default implicitly comes. No need to provide, no need to write. Uh, suppose if I write my frame and uh, one integer x, if I write, will it come default constructor? Uh, now, in this situation, suppose you want to parameterize constructor, then default also write. Uh, no, no, not required. Uh, next instance variable, uh, private. Uh, suppose private integer width. Okay. Private integer width. Uh, no, private integer height. Uh, this type, setter getter methods. If you use Eclipse, automatically generated. See, if you use Eclipse, what will happen? Automatically generated. No need to write programmer. Programmer, no need to write. Automatically generated here. Uh, say file new okay one separate project i'll create java project hmm. something demo next finish uh, now right click new on class uh, suppose my frame okay uh, now my frame uh, here, main method, main method, okay, finish. Now, now you observe here, first one, public, uh, second one, implement serializable, okay, uh, implement serializable, uh, then we have to import package, uh, serializable imported, okay, uh, now, private, Integer 
width private integer height okay uh, now to setter getter methods uh, now setter getter methods you have to write just right click source generate getters and methods for both select all generate see setter getter method generated okay uh, now these two private variables these two private variables i given now this is a one java bean class uh, what i'll do this main method i'll remove main method will access outside uh, see now here here setter method if width greater than suppose 1920 uh, then this dot width equal to 1920 okay else if width less than 1920 this dot width equal to support 10 pixels else this dot width equal to width okay now here two methods are written set width get width uh, now Width if it is greater than 1920, uh, what it will said? 1920. Width less than, uh, sorry, less than 10. No, less than 10. Uh, then width equal to 10. Okay. Minimum, it is minimum less than greater than 1920. Greater than 1920 is there, 1920. Less than 10 is there, 10. Uh, other than these two, width settled. Okay. Uh, now, like this only height i'll write uh, if height greater than 1080 uh, this dot height equal to uh, 1080 uh, else if height less than 10 this dot height equal to 10 else this dot id equal to height okay like this are written now according to java bean rules uh, you observe class must be public uh, it is public class class must implement serializable uh, serializable must be in a package uh, package default constructor comes automatically comes uh, private Next setter getter methods, all setter getter method public. Now, now here, suppose it's another class. It's another class. Uh, demo class is there here. Class demo uh, here. I want to access. It is demo class. Public static void main string ox. Another class. Uh, you want to access that class here. Uh, now, this is in demo package. Okay. Uh, demo package, my frame. Now, if you want to access my frame object, you'll create. Uh, you'll import the package. Uh, import demo dot star. Uh, after that, my frame. Uh, my frame. Uh, my frame mf equal to new my frame. Uh, can you call mf dot width? Can I call? Is it possible? Here, private variables. Can we access? No. Uh, now, if you want to set the width and height through setter, getter methods only possible. Uh, now, here, if you call mf dot set width, uh, suppose 19,200, if I pass. 19,200 if I pass. Uh, what will receive? Here, greater than uh, greater than 1920. Then what will be stored? 1920. Uh, now, in this program, without modifying single character, is it possible to store greater than 1970? Without modifying single character in this program, 
वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन राइट इन अनदर क्लास डेमो क्लास इयर वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन राइट द कोड बट आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर मोर देन नाइनटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर हियर इज इट पॉसिबल is it possible no because these variables are private you cannot access how will access throw setter method throw setter method if you access what will happen your logic is there this logic will not allow will not allow uh, so this is the reason they'll make it private variables and public setter getter methods uh, now now like a frame class i created logic this is like a java bean one frame only multiple views possible for multiple users this type of classes are called java beans this type of classes uh result set is not a java bean but all row sets are java beans because there is a set set driver set url set url username set password setter methods are there you can pass only driver url username password for methods connection established that type and a set command is there all setter getter methods are there in the bins or uh, is a uh, row sets so programmer point of view convenient way reusable uh, see now width and height are private variables you cannot access outside the this class outside this class it is not possible to access okay width and height is private variables you cannot access outside if you want to access throw set width throw set height you can access throw set width set height if you pass always logic will be executed always logic executed it will not allow to store it will not allow suppose 19200 let us your condition true then 1920 only stored suppose you pass Minus nineteen thousand two hundred. Condition false. Condition true. Then it will store for ten only. Suppose you pass two hundred. Condition false. Condition false. It is executed. Two hundred stored. So it will not allow to store less than ten. Ten. It will not allow to store greater than nine nineteen twenty. That logic is already present. This type of logic already present. Uh, now these easy variables bound with with this set of method getter method methods these methods are operating on on these two types of variables this is called in calculation okay okay uh, this is like we can record as one example, example of log java bin uh, right right it example of log java bin
this is like a one Java bean. Uh, is it over? Uh, see, now if you want to store greater than 1920, it is not possible to store because width is private variable. You can access through setter method. Setter method will not allow. Okay. Uh, this type of binding is called encapsulation. It is fully encapsulated. 100% encapsulation. Okay. Uh, now, this type of class is called Java bean. This type of class is called Java bean. So these seven rules, if it is followed, uh, see first rule, class must be public. Second rule, implement serializable. Third one, package. Fourth one, public constructor. Uh, that is the by default comes. Fifth one, instance variable private. Sixth one, setter getter methods. Uh, seventh rule, public setter getter method must be public uh, these seven rules followed so it is called java bin uh, this type of year uh, year results it is not a java bin all row sets are java beans that is uh, so this type of class is java bin this type of class is java bin okay uh, all row set implementation class are java beans they prepared like this uh, that is a benefit. Reusability comes. Uh, now, after this, uh, what is the fourth rule? Fourth difference. In order to get result set, we need connection interface, driver manager class, and driver manager class, statement interface. Uh, in order to get row set, only row set implementation class, one class required. Uh, that is with program you'll understand. Uh, next, uh, note down. Uh, rows are, uh, row sets, I given the row sets. One is JDBC row set. Second one, Cached row set. Third one, web row set. Fourth one, filtered row set. Fifth one, join row set. Okay. Uh, now, these all, uh, write it. The above row set, row sets are implemented by Uh, the above row set interfaces are implemented by the above row set interfaces are implemented by database vendors. The above row set interfaces are implemented by database vendors. The above row set interfaces are implemented by database vendors. Uh, Oracle Corporation implemented the above 
row set interfaces. in the following classes. First one, Oracle JDBC Roset. Second one, Oracle Cashout Roset. Third one, Oracle Web Roset. Fourth one, Oracle Filtered Roset. Fifth one, Oracle Join Roset. The above row set interfaces are implemented by database vendors. Oracle JDBC Roset, Oracle Cashout Roset, Oracle Web Roset, Oracle Filtered Roset, Oracle Join Roset. Uh, those interfaces are common to all databases, but these classes are specific to database. It is only for Oracle. MySQL, MySQL separate, DB2, DB2 separate, Derby, Derby2 separate, like that. So the above Roset interfaces the above row set interfaces are implemented by database vendors. Those are given by Sun Microsystem Company, Java people. And uh, these are implemented by database companies. Uh, Oracle Database, Oracle Corporation implemented in these five classes. Uh, here, here JDBC, all capital letters only, right clearly. Here O capital, here JDBC, R capital. But here JDBC, J only capital. They given like that only. Year J R S capital, but year Oracle JDBC Roset O capital JDBC capital R capital S capital. Okay. Uh, Oracle Corporation implemented the above Roset interfaces in the following classes. Uh, now, these classes only we can use to write program. Uh, now. Write it. The above classes are in the above classes are in Oracle dot JDBC dot Roset package. The above classes are in Oracle dot JDBC dot Roset package. The above classes are in oracle.jdbc.roset package. Oh, oracle.jdbc.roset package is a part of ojdbc 6 underscore g dot jar and ojdbc 8 underscore g dot jar file that is maybe different different will be their versions i given six and eight the above classes are in oracle dot jdbc dot roset package oracle dot jdbc dot roset package is a part of ojdbc six underscore g dot jar ojdbc eight underscore g dot jar The above classes are in oracle.jdbc.roset package, but this package is a part of ojdb6 underscore j8 underscore j. Driver class is there, no? Driver class in that jar file, that jar files. Uh, now, 
four five classes uh five classes what is the difference now uh, one by one we'll see uh, now uh, first hierarchy required no uh, the hierarchy of of row sets the hierarchy of row sets the hierarchy of row sets the hierarchy of row sets now we'll see the row sets hierarchy uh, now see object class uh object uh, result set one minute uh result set also super interface result set inherited in row set it is one it is one more row set is there the common to all from this derived here jdbc row set uh this is inherited in oracle jdbc row set uh here cache row set no don web row set oracle cache row set from web row set oracle web row set filtered row set join row set or i kill filtered row set or i kill join row set no da total five row sets jdbc row set cache out row set web row set filtered row set join row set five classes oracle jdbc row set oracle cache out row set oracle web row set oracle filtered row set oracle join row set
see at the top of the hierarchy result set is there result set denoted in row set row set denoted in jdbc row set cash out row set cash out row set from cash out row set web row set web row set filter row set join row set uh, these are classes oracle oracle is there no classes oracle is not there no interfaces interface and classes complete hierarchy given Uh, is it over? Yeah. Classes given by Oracle Corporation, interfaces given by Sun Microsystem. Uh, these classes only specific to Oracle. Uh, those interfaces common to all databases. Suppose if I write like this, is it valid or not valid? Give me answer. Is it valid or not valid? Valid? Sure. Which class object created? Which class object created? Oracle JDBC Roset. This object assigned to JDBC Roset. Uh, how it is valid? Uh, it is called upcasting. So upcasting always valid. Upcasting done by system implicitly. Upcasting always valid. Uh, if, it, if you want to do downcasting, upcasting required as well as explicit type conversion also required. Uh, now, using Oracle JDBC ROSET, can I access JDBC ROSET methods? Yes. Can I access ROSET? Yes. Can I access result set? Yes. So, with this hierarchy, with this hierarchy, what you will understand is upcasting, downcasting purpose, this hierarchy required. Suppose you are searching for one method, performing, you are performing one task. You want to perform one task on Oracle join row set. Method is not available in Oracle join row set. Then where you have to search? Join row set. Uh, here also not there. Web row set. Here also not there. Cash out row set. Here also not there. Here also not there. Like that. Hierarchy required to search library methods. That purpose required as well as upcasting, downcasting purpose also hierarchy required. Okay. Now, this interface reference is same. This subclass object different. It is Oracle purpose, Oracle class. MySQL purpose, MySQL. MySQL database, MySQL. So, these class names are different. Interface are common to all. Now that's what, what we can do is all which are common to all row sets, methods are given here. Those methods only you can use for all row sets. Which are common to all row sets, they are given here. And even which are common to result set and row set, that is given here. Those methods you can use for result set also, row sets also. Uh, that is how to use, how to write program, we will see tomorrow class. Yeah, notes I'll upload. Up to up to result set enhancements feature. I think up to row sets notes is there. Check it. Up to row sets already uploaded. Daily I am not uploading. Already I uploaded up to today class. You check it. Up to today class I already uploaded. Up to tomorrow class also uploaded. You can check it. Up to row sets I uploaded. You can check it in Google Classroom.
Disconnected means total data composition. 